My name is Antoinette Osei. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have a son doing life without parole. He's been in for 28 years now. From day one, I shut down. I didn't go to the courtroom to hear them say that he would never get out. I couldn't face that. And I never talked about it, not even with him. I never asked questions. I didn't want to know the details. I was quiet for 28 years because I felt ashamed there was nobody to talk to. I felt so alone before. Like, that's one of the major things. It's like you feel alone, like don't nobody understand, you know? And your loved one's incarcerated and you feel like, um, what did I do wrong as a parent? You know, what did, did my son do something to deserve that? My son called me and said, Mother, there's a rally October 2nd, two days before his birthday. And I went to that rally. And every day since that day, I've been talking and been healing. And that's a good part of healing. Got to talk about it. So that's what helped me get rid of the shame. This is very emotional. And the tears are coming from... Um, Thinking about my son being in there for 28 years, it's painful for 28 years. It's, it's a lot of pain to deal with. Even though it's a lot of pain to, pain to deal with, there's bright days too. Just got to remember the um, good days, you know, and to stay involved and just keep the hope alive. So I'm finally letting my pain go so now I can talk to others and help other family members that have families incarcerated in prison. So um, I feel really good helping other people now, you know. It's always going to be emotional. I see that. <laughs> always going to have tears. But we have to find ways to um, turn some of these tears into smiles not only am I healing myself, I'm healing my community too. And the community, we all need to heal together. We can't heal alone. We definitely can't heal alone. Don't be embarrassed. Don't feel ashamed. And just get involved and talk about it more. Find groups or organizations like FAM and you surround yourself with people that understand you, that understand the situation. And that's the best way to get through this.